go. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another casted series here within Radovan and Nachowski. We are on uh, the Bohemia map. Uh, Radovan playing and USA. You. you got Josko Gal Golonka. And on the other side of the map, you got France picked by Nachowski. So, very interesting match between these two guys. Uh, I, th I think this could be quite an interesting game between France and USA. What do you think, Nick? We? I think this is a balanced matchup. Um, uh, we know that USA is the best team right now, but I think France might be one of the, the hardest for them to, to beat. But yeah, yeah, we have to see how this plays out. This is a very like uh, basic map. I don't think it favors anyone. So yeah, I expect some like micro intensive game between those two civilizations. Right, so going for another 30 wood treasure here for USA, the Radovan. Yeah. That's gonna help his aging process, going for the house. So I don't think he's probably not gonna be going for the German immigrants just now. I wonder if he's gonna go for the slower uh, 300 Dutch immigrants. Because if you go for the church, I'd rather not just spend 300 coin for a bank. Uh, and if you're gonna play H2, then you can send both, right? If, if you go capitalism, Dutch bank plus the Kentucky charge, then uh, I expect some H2 gameplay, otherwise it's just too greedy. Yeah, I think you, you, you have to choose between the two. You either go for the church or the, the banks. The bank uh, gives you more economy on the long run, but it slows down your FF by quite a lot. So you have to, to, to make that de decision when you're doing an FF. I don't think you can, you should go for both. Standard oh, deck yeah, here for France. Is, yeah, this is pretty much on a standard deck. I like this deck a lot because it it has the double scarms. Um, I think this could be quite worth it. Sometimes it, I, I like this. I like this double scarms. Mm, for yeah, France. it is it is good for for the early H3 uh, pressure for a higher tempo based uh, pushes early on in the game, but maybe a little yeah, bit too early on the scouting, but um. You probably want to be here about three minutes, something, so you can see a little bit more information. Um, but no, no, he has explored everything already, so it doesn't really matter. He still has a uh, not the, the Chinook scout. So yeah, he can already see that there are no mills on, and no German immigrants there. So this is already a valuable scout. We see so from Nachowski. I jump at the powder master. Yeah, and he's aging up with uh, 1210. So. He's aging up with 1210, uh, Nachowski, so very good for, for him. Okay, so 1210 plus uh, 2.5 villagers on capitalism. Yeah. So you can say he's a 14.5 age up instead. Oh, 1210 for France. Aha, uh -huh. I see what you mean. Yeah, 12 tempo for France. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's uh, is is it one of the best tempo? Because it's a 12 10 where your village is 25 percent more than that, so you use a 15 probably age up. So in Egypt way yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. And he's upgrading the market. I I expect some like now that he basically knows that this isn't some H2 play from Radovan. I expect some cavalry opening to raid um, Radovan and, and with a semi FF follow up on H3. Yeah, I think France can play this matchup quite comfortably. Obviously, USA is favored because of the um, current matter, but yeah, I think, yeah, oh no, this is the Insta way, way aggressive. Yeah, way more than I expected. So, yeah, we're going to see some early. I. I don't think he's Ooh. just going to raid with that. Is he though? Well, he's planning to uh, put we pressure. Have to see, uh, what? Oh, what? Oh. Uh, okay, he's yeah, he's not building any um like stables. He's just going to raid with uh, yes. three hus. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, he's gonna take the explorer at least. <laughs> uh... Yeah, probably. If he does, if he pays attention. Oh no! no oh no! Where are you going, bro? Yeah, you should go for the explorer. 
Oh yeah, the experience, you know, this uh, explorer that has a bloody freaking flag, but he wants to sort of dominate into the villager area, maybe try to kill a villager. You do see that the explorer is actually taking visibility, so maybe that's why he was trying to, to see there were some villagers there. He's actually gonna get a villager. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, every villager makes a huge difference. Oh, it's gonna take another yeah. villager, maybe. No. Well, almost, almost. X butter goes to. Yeah, to the he's ground. doing like a, an FF with uh, three hus. <laughs> yeah. This is seven hundred coin. Okay, he did. Yeah, no four views. So this is uh, once he reaches H three, this is pretty much uh, all in. I think because you're going to have a, such a low economy. Okay, first a minute man call from uh, Radovan. But that doesn't really hurt yeah. too much, even though... Yeah, it hurt. hurts, hurts a lot. He, he's going to slow down by quite a lot uh, for sending that. Yeah, this mm. basically paid off. He basically paid off the card from from um, Nachowski. Yeah, that's true. He that, that's for sure. And, forced, uh, a minute man popped and now you are overpopped as well, which is a bad thing. He has a stable, yeah, but you I'm have ready, like yes. five guys what here that doesn't... Command? He only oh. has serves a defensive measure, really. And uh, yeah. now you're, you're really, you use your defensive measure in case you... Imagine if he becomes five more Hussars. And you already sent this. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. But the thing is, yeah, it, it slowed down him like uh, 30 seconds because of this. Or 20 seconds, which is a huge deal. You don't want to send that. Like, you save that for the, like, the last uh, resource you have. But yeah, now he's aging up. He's sending the the capital card, um, so he's pretty much safe. I I'm starting to get worried about uh, Nachuski because he has no economy behind this. He didn't send the four bills. Yeah, he's, he needs to send I, I it now. To see what, what is this follow up going to be on H3? He's not sending the uh, seven hundred wood. Like if I was in his position, aging up this fast, I would go for like a thousand wood. You you, you cannot. You cannot train units now. You have no economy. For... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good from Nachowski. So, a thousand wood. wood. Yeah, going for infrastructure, maybe a second town center. So, yeah. This is the correct follow up, I think, for, for Nachowski. Because since you aged up so fast, you cannot, uh, like, buy 200 uh, wood and do a barracks or stables and train units because you have no economy to support that. So, you, you have to um, invest into something that is going to give you uh, a better economy on the mid to long term so i think uh going for the for the thousand wood is the best option yeah this card is going to be kentucky hunters and yeah 500 coins is going to be costing guys yeah, by the way. this is the last opportunity to send it <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah, so, so going up with the so what is your command? i think did he no he, he so i think that's the yeah. church card or, he, or maybe he built that on uh, on the stable. I, don't, I didn't really see that very well. But you do have a card here that you pay a little bit of food. You get five of these guys. What is so. your command? Uh, also be nerfed as well. This guy is also going to be nerfed. The, yeah, they're going to have... Think it's the deal. I don't think it's no, the no, I don't think. carbon. I think uh, they're going to increase the attack and reduce the rate of fire. I think that the damage output is going to be pretty much the same. But the, the, the huge uh, deal is the, the build order routes from USA. It's going to be way harder to pull off the, the, the builds. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I, I like this going for, for map control for mm -hmm. Radovan. So I think USA is ahead now because French aged up so fast that they have to to, to invest into the economy now. now. And USA already has a thousand a wood. Economy, sending a thousand wood himself. Yeah, put a town he center can, here or can, something. He can actually train a um, uh, town center wagon on his capital. So I, I, yep. I prefer this position here. We have to see what Same. is that you're doing. Okay, so Nachoski didn't went for a second uh, town center. He's, he's opting to go for units so like five. Uh, Quintus here. Yeah, I don't like this for Nachoski because he's, he's not going to have an economy. Like, he went for he's, all, he's, he's pretty much all in. Like, if, if when those skirmishes come, uh, arrive at his base, he has to go. He has to go and do damage. Otherwise, uh, USA is just going to upscale him. Just because of the, the cards and the, 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 the build order route that USA went for. 
Yeah, he yeah. went for a more economic approach with sending the sending the, the church one, but now on the long run it's gonna oh pay off. God. We are seeing a 12 Yulon card being being sent. Uh, we have to see how it's going to be. How the I'm not a big fan. I'm not a biggest fan here to get more units, but it does a lot of pressure you can have early on. But uh, I would rather have the coin one. No, I don't like this. I I don't I. I for for a thousand coin. The, no, Oof. I don't, don't go for this because you have a few villagers. I think it's better when you have like the when you go for um, German immigrants. The some people no. that you have. Uh, no, like, I disagree. I think it's better. Uh, you're, I think it's but better. You, you, you're missing the point though. For me, for me, what I, why I get the coin is I can put few villagers on coin, and I put most of my villagers on food. I already have thirty percent here, so I'm gonna have a lot of food income. But problem is for me is the coin, and these guys cost a lot of coin. coin. So for me to get the cardboard combined uh, to be coming in, the only way is if I actually have a good coin income. And this this coin, you got 4,000 coin here and they gather twice as fast. So that's, you don't have to put many villagers in there. Five villagers on those gathering that coin would be enough, enough production of carbine, oh, constantly to, production of the, carbine. I have to see this push though. Um, oh, okay, oh, so the, the carbine is, is too... Yeah, just focus down the, the, the Colosseus. Yeah, the Yulos are, aren't surviving that long. Oops. Yeah, they're melting for this, for this, uh, the added oh, damage from the, the Colosseus. Yeah, the Yulos have to survive in order to, for this to be a clear win from, for USA. Yeah, yeah. Minute man, oh, so, man. So, for the so, so save here. Right. It's gonna help against the, the remaining Yulans, but, uh, He's going to clean this, but at what cost? That, that's what I, I, I said earlier. He has no economy to follow up, so he's pretty much going to lose this game, I think. You cannot recover from this. Oh, and I got Rolin Artillery coming in as well. Got him training more yeah, scarms. This is, yeah, this is the last nail in the coffin, in my opinion. Yeah. That's, that's the problem the... with Nachowski's build. It, it, it is like too fast. You cannot go like that fast and expect to have a long term. Mid to long term um, game. You have to that win. is a reason why people send this for Korea the boys because it's just too good. Yeah, yeah. At this point, he would uh, have like 30 views. The, his economy would be like so much better, so much better. That's why on Age of Empires 3, we usually go for economy first and then mass units because if you go the other way, you ha you you have to deal damage with your units. You have to deal with them to equalize the game because if the other player is going for economy and you're going for units and nothing happens, he's winning. Okay, yeah, so... it's a counterintuitive. You think I'm gonna start making units now, so I'm gonna have a bigger mass. I think that's how you start thinking when you start playing this game. But another yeah. guy is playing doing economy, has no army, and then out of the blue, he's popping units like non stop, and you can't continue. You, then you lose your mass. You're gonna win some fights, but uh, at some point you're just gonna start losing because your opponent just keep on making more and more and more and more, and you just start really lacking behind. Ooh, yeah. nice body there. Yeah, the, the guy that is going for economy, when, the moment he he, he starts producing units, he's going to have way more than you if you like are uh, uh, only producing units. Yeah, he's he's dealing pretty well with this, I, I think. But I, I can't see. I, I cannot see um, France winning this game. I, I really cannot see because, yeah, 28 villages for France and 28 villages to UK to, to USA, plus the trickles of the capitalism and the church. So that's kind of like five, six more views. Yeah. So you can say that's 30, 30 something. Where that's where exactly where France should be right now. 30 something yeah. if france went for a uh, thousand wood and built a second town center or something like that to to, to improve the economy i would prefer uh france's position but since he went for units and infrastructure i don't know he, like watch this he has he he cannot uh increase the the size of his army he he's going to stay on this for yeah he, he's he's going to push because he, he realized he he has to do something like this that is the thing, if you go for for um, like a mass unit early, you have to deal damage, you have to, to, to obtain value from what you're producing. But yeah, it's just... Yeah, so actually, the blue goes down. Oh, but yeah. he might lose the Falcon now in the process. The 
carbines on top of it. Skirmish is trying to do some damage, but uh, way too many cavalry. Ca That's why it becomes so comfortable once you got a, a mass of car carbine. You just, I mean, any CV play Skirm Goom, at some point when you have a big mass of, sk of Skirms, when, you, when you're ahead as well, even better. You just Then you just go for Skirms. But uh, when I'm behind the, uh, or even fair, I'd like to have a, a little bit more anti-cav, anti then I can always snipe the artillery from the opponent. It's yeah. 1500 elo ish, 600 tops. Up to, 60, up to 1600 elo. Uh, I, I think these guys have reached like uh, 1600 uh, at this point, probably. I don't know what's their current states. Uh, yeah, Radovan, of that's what I said earlier, Kavano. Radovan is a pretty solid player. He might be one of the. Like, if he eliminates Nachuski, I think he might take the tournament. Yeah, Blue is good for. Yeah, Blue is definitely not a 1400 player. He's at least like fifteen to sixteen hundred. Anyways, Radovan is not even the ladder uh, for one v one ladder. Uh, Nachowski, Nachowski is now on fifteen eighty two. Yeah, but, but that that is the thing. Like, you don't need to have amazing me mechanics or something like that. You just have to do a correct build order. Just. Doing a, a good build order improves your game so much. So no, that's why we, if he rather wins yeah. 1800, then he's he should be disqualified from the tournament. No, this is not 1800 gameplay. Uh, no, he isn't because no, I've checked not. I checked on Izaka old ladder and everybody that is not on the current ladder they have been uh, I, I found them on the old ladder and the ones that was not on the old ladder they already been disqualified. It was like Taiwanese people they were like. Well, 1100 Evo. That's why they never been into the ladder before. And they did say so, it was true. Because they already... But yeah, Spotify, the this villagers just got melted. This is not an E100. You, you can already say that. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I know so. I know they're not. Yeah, no, for, from the gameplay, you can you can say that. The more <laughs> experienced players, they, they can actually, actually say that. This place shows us this is not the 1600, 1800 gameplay. The, the yeah. one when they put the anti cap together, you mean? No, they're losing, like, losing two Gatlings to two uh, for the seals when you have like uh, 40 uh, Dragoons. This shouldn't happen at all. Yeah, but the game, he can do whatever he wants. Well, but he killed so many views there. I wouldn't care to losing a little bit of Gatlings, but uh, yeah, maybe. It's so hard to kill French villagers and deny his economy, though. I would call this master sergeant in old terms. I, I don't know the old terms. I'm a, a new player. <laughs> I was master sergeant myself. Um, I, I got second <laughs> lieutenant. I got le second lieutenant on the old game, but it was like for a week, and then I started losing again. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't remember if it was team game, if it was solo game. Probably solo yeah, game. Yeah, back then uh, you, you, you could uh, up, uh, um, increase your ELO by playing team games, right? Probably, like just like today. There wasn't yeah, much difference than before, yeah, and the game yeah. is cold. But uh, with France, you'll be okay there, not gonna lie. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to another casted series. We are going into round two of this gentleman i mean game two because i uh, say we are on round three of the tournament so let's not get confused with that we have a hard no show mirror near nick that's that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> so one has chosen to go for water with that that's radovan i i i prefer this better i think this is a more uh yeah. concise opening uh with the current meta and uh where nachoski has cho chosen to go for a little bit of scouting uh, so he took that as a scouting and then going for a long house, but he's chopping for wood anyway. So what is going on here? Um, TP, he's going for a TP. Oh, I see. Uh, I, see. Um, I think honestly, if I, if like as a Hadoroshani player, I can tell that Hanachowski is probably going for an FF or something like that. Because if you want to, if you go for an FF as Hadoroshani, Preferably, you want to go for the TP instead of the dock, because the dock gives you food and so on and things like that. And on this map, you cannot gather coin uh, on the water. There, there are no whales, only fish. So, 
Um, I think Nachowski is going for HD, I can already tell that. And Radovan is probably going to rush H2, some, play some aggressive H2. Uh, okay, there's a, also a, a kind of weird build here. Like, uh, the, the build that I've learned that works best for me when I'm playing Hot Nashoni is actually put everybody on wood. You get your 210 as fast as you can, and then you're gonna get your long, long house and the 210 uh, for the docks. But uh, I think he's, okay. he's, he's, yeah, he probably got a treasure. You can see that you got a treasure because he already has two of those boats in queue. L oh. Therefore, only three villages uh, on wood there, um, which is probably like a uh, probably miss. He probably had more people on wood because we we're looking into the other side. So yeah, yeah um, very solid. Yeah, because he had the those two. Is, the thing about Nachowski, not, not uh, oh, sorry, not Nachowski, but Radovan, his build orders are good. I think he's going to gather exactly the wood. Let, let us see. What should uh, yeah, yeah. Radovan? Um, uh, there we go, 70. Okay, let us see if he's going to... Okay. Three of yeah. gathering. Oh, yeah, this is noob. a very clean noob. build order from Radovan. Yeah, three of gather is noob. This is a good player. This is a good player. <laughs> we can say that because he, he, he did his wood. homework. He knows the, the build orders. He executes them like uh, correctly. No blunders on the build order side. This can already take you pretty far in the game, my opinion. Okay, let's so, see Nachowski here. Nachowski is on 15 views. Uh, so yeah. we're a little bit behind, but we are going to get the 75 wood equalizer here yeah. since Radovan just gathered 75 there from treasures as well. So yeah. there we go. We are fair and square in terms of treasures. And are we going to go with the wiser woman? <sighs> the messenger. No, no. Okay, so he's, he's rushing. No, what Another is he going one. to do? Another one. I, 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 no I don't idea. know. Now I, I have no idea what is going on. Okay, it's aging fast, but you're going with the tribal marketplace. And on the other side of the arena, you got the messenger as well. Yeah, this makes sense. Because rather than. Yeah, because he's on water. Uh, yeah, he has a yeah, lot of. He's on water. He's yeah, going yeah, yeah. To, to be able to have a better economy, pop up more units. Mm -hmm. But. That, that's cool. I yeah, don't he, know what. I think Radovan has a solid build order. I think that's the thing about build orders. Like, uh, I, I was a little bit reluctant about the stuff, but uh, you're probably right about the stuff. Like, you have to figure it out what's the best kind of openings you can have with the civilization, because yeah, yeah. that's going to put you in the right place. <laughs> but I think what, what you're doing is really like to talk about the same uh, different things. Uh, but uh, but in, like in what you're talking about, which is actually really makes sense. Like, you need to find what's best. For what you're trying to do if you're gonna play like h2 what's what's the best way to get there i mean that's something really important um which is sort of yeah. like um we we know that but sometimes you think ah, i can invent here you know i, I can be flexible i can be some sort of azank but that doesn't work yeah you're gonna figure it out later on yeah. that the, the person that the follows build orders that I can give people okay. is just forget Isaac. He, he's just on uh, like no one can understand him i don't think he even <laughs> he can understand himself so don't, don't try to, to, to copy his build and play like him just do whatever like everyone is doing because there's a reason for that yeah, okay, this, this is a very very point. good engagement for nachos because he got units here yeah yeah oh yeah he's going to lose all his kenya Oh, you're getting the crack shot for the the Mohicano. Yeah. Oh, he, he killed uh, a single Kenyan and lost two. Okay, this is not actually. Mercenary. Yeah, he can he can like, remass. He has a he has water. I, I have to see Nachowski's uh, build. Okay, he's he's going on all in. Yeah, this is an all in from him. Yeah, we need to win this. Uh, That's Nachowski. We need to win this. Yeah, he's not gathering wood, so he's going to get. Hard housed uh, right now. Ooh, he's getting good raid. Very good. He's going to get a second one, I think. With the micro, he has. Let's yeah, go. just go very nice. Yeah, very, good. very nice raid. But yeah, he has to win now because he has no follow up. He he he's he doesn't have a, a second house, a third house, I mean, and he has the wood to build it. Yeah, actually losing the cavalry is good because he can keep producing villagers. Oh, he's he housed. He's yeah, in, he's he's in bows. Or, or he's just housed. No, he's housed, right? He, I think he needs to send... I think oh, he sent five villas probably. No, he's, he's, he's still housed. I know, so he's still housed. I don't even know it. 
this would be weird, but you never know what... You should, I think when you sent a shipment, you should have a different border, so you know it's been sent instead of being disabled. There's no difference for me to know what is being disabled. There we go. You never sent five bills. Send five, seven Aeon, okay, as he said. Seven, seven, six hundred. Uh, I, I'm not a biggest, I'm not a biggest fan. I think this build order for water is three bills, five bills, six hundred wood, and then you can do whatever you want later. But uh, that's the, the build order that I find out from uh, Ravnak. But uh, I would do that if I were. Yeah, you. this is the the, the the boom build, right? Mm -hmm. Th that's what uh, we we talked before. Like you boom first, and then you pop units. Yeah, yeah. You have an economy to afford it. But yeah, if you go for the, the build that Nachowski did, you you go straight for units. You have to deal damage because. Well, uh, Radovan is go just going to outscale. I think we have to to see the villages. Twenty one for Nachowski, and Radovan has how many? Um. 31 like what the, the longer city. the game goes the better for Radovan yeah because yeah, we're on water yeah Radovan needs to 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 defend himself this is the time when you oh, start no, walling no. up and yeah going for the lame defensive strats because he has to buy time yeah I don't like sending the the, the triple resource card uh, crates because yeah I prefer wood yeah this is usually the card you want to send when, when you want Wait, to wake up and, yeah. or upgrade the market as Hodanoshani but yeah he has to understand what is Nachoski up to uh, because if he doesn't train units yeah 600 wood for for Hodanoshani usually means the the host transition it is usually the card you send uh, when you want to to start producing um, cavalry so we are going to see like more Kenyans for Nachowski, uh, for and Radovan has to be careful. He he could die on a single push because he has no units, he has no anti caps, and Ayinas and the Ayina yeah. Kenya combo is it is probably the best combo on H two on this matchup. Yeah, but you gotta be very really careful with the Ayina. Like the your, your the thing is, you got a big flow of uh, food coming from the water. So you have six villages on wood. That's so so little. I think the the build order oh, okay. for water is minimum eight or nine on wood. And you keep that forever. You never touch that. Everybody else can go on wood. Keep... I like to put one guy on coin just so I can get market upgrades. Uh, but that's me. Yeah. But man, uh, that's honestly... something that I've adapted myself. But uh, I think you need to have nine people on wood. And, uh, and the minute that you have like this many oh, boats, no, okay. like nine boats. I would put more people from food to wood and I would have like 14, 15 yeah, guys yeah, and then I would do needs more wood, less Aina and I'd be more like some sort of musketeers to help because if you if your opponent come with a big mess of Gav and you and you just like lose all your only surviving uh, Tomahawks you lose the game I lost many games like this because I just had Aina and Cav and my yeah, Cav died and macro, I lose Radovan can only produce Aina this is the Aina map exactly uh, that's why that is the problem. The, the Kenya can simply dive uh, until. Yeah, he... this is a fight he should be taking. And oh, this... he has a big bottom still. He's sent, shipping the big one. Okay, so he's training some. Yeah, I like this for Radovan because he has a bad economy. We have to see his defensive. Thirty nine villagers. Yeah, now he's sending the six hundred. Yes. Yeah. So... I, I don't think you have to send five views on the other side yet. So we are so behind. Economic wise. Yeah, this is the problem if you go for a TP instead of a dock. Because you have more tempo early on, but the economy is going to be way better for Radovan. Yeah, if Radovan doesn't panic on this on this uh, defense, he can take this game, I think. I, I like his position better, but the Kenyans are definitely a big uh, threat here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. He I'm has to push. He has to do damage. Once you again. put that play on the archers, you gotta be good in your micro. You gotta be good at decision making. Where, where is your pathing? Where are your units? Where should be located? And it, and it doesn't have any tomahawks to defend this. I think if he if he focus on the tomahawks, but oh, there we go. He got some help oh, no. here. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh but they're moving. They're just moving. Just just attack. No, but the tomahawks are. are they oh, they are no. they are running like silly. Oh, the the miss macro here. It's gonna really hurt. Oh, yeah, you know they're going to destroy everything. Yeah. Nachowski just is steel. Nachowski, Nachowski just playing steel. He's he, he better let units archers work. 
Nachowski just was moving too much with his units, got unprepared. The musketeer went to the back here for some reason. And now he just have Aina. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've, I've lost to this multiple times just having Aina. Is the best thing you can do? Yes. But you gotta be mindful what what's happening with your macro. You just have a lot of food coming in. You don't need many villages oh, on food God. anymore. There, there was a <laughs> That's a disaster. There was a, there was a throw from Nadevan. From I think he, he had the better position there, but like he, he left the, the the tomahawks on the the melee melee uh stance and then they chased the hyenas right and then they traded against the hyenas on melee which hyenas obviously won and yeah, they had a so, very weird pathing as well and they're just moving yeah, very was, weirdly uh, and now he's actually he's gonna lose some of this cab here but uh he's trying to get the core up um yeah, he, he, he needs to get those Nachowski muscles. Only, uh, the, uh, Nachowski just has to, to stay on top of Radovan for the rest of the game. Uh, let us see what is Radovan is going to do. Uh, show me. Yeah, now that the economy is going to, to tie uh, up with Nachowski's. Yeah, because he's idling uh, as well. Yeah, this was a huge throw. This was a huge throw, I think. Gonna get the exploder. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, Falcon had shot. <laughs> nice crap. Yeah, that's 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 a big loss there for the, for one crap shot of for Will poor yeah. Will. So ten boats. Um, yeah, he just has such a good food income though that does give some leverage. But uh, it was very risky for a second here. Uh, we get we're getting a little bit of breathing room for him. We are equalized on the village account. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. But we are on, la on land economy, which is better than water economy. So uh, I, I think the, the game is a fair point at this point. Like, even though you can see Nachoski has a more military, so you got a better score. And now you're getting map control, which is, which you can, uh, it, it, it sounds that Nachoski is, uh, is way ahead. Just because you have a bigger mass, you're going to take map control, you're going to take the, the forward barracks. Here comes some incoming raid, but oh, I don't think nice you can raid. do that much. This may be the comeback. Uh, yeah, if it were, were like 10 Kenya, mm. this would be the comeback. But like 3, taking only a single villager? No. You need more than that. It first is a migration, which is nice. But he's gonna uh, lose the Diana yeah. batch here. But uh, oh, way too up, many. Uh, 7 Ka Kenya against uh, our opponent. On a hunt, huh? Seven as well. I think what helped Nachowski is just having a little bit of the more tomahawks, and I, f oh, I feel yeah. like if you, if, when you have more tomahawks, it just is safer, you know. Like they are very good units. Um, I think like if you, if you have a pro player, like uh, the pro player, you probably have a comp like this. A new player, like me, probably should have a build like this, and this is just better. Like you, you have to go sometimes for the easy micro, you know, like. Without, if you have to sort of over macro sometimes, it just becomes hard. Um, uh, so the, the micro, like if you're like um, microing archer units, like hyenas, um, satan bows, um, longbowmen, you, you have to not micro. <laughs> Because the more you walk with those units, the, the less damage you're dealing. Yeah, this is a dangerous move by Radovan. Like going like right next to a uh, stables is always dangerous, right? Full comp is better, but when you, when you have like uh, in the beginning of the game and you're going for water, you're just gonna have so much, uh, you're just gonna have so many more archers in the beginning. You can actually do a lot of calf that you, you over you overwhelm well, uh, overwhelm everybody. At this point in the game, it's probably three comp is better, especially in the mirror. But uh, I think I think yeah. Aina, Aina and Kenya are the optimal um, composition here. Yeah, that's Aina what pros do. That's what they pros do anyway. Oh, no. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's hard that you might you gotta be careful that you know they just die quickly. But you, if you actually put your villages in the right composition to make a uh, okay. Kenya non stop, and you have like both production, you just can be making oh, no. like Aina non stop and making Kenya non stop. It just become a very crazy mess to deal with. But you, you yeah. gotta be mindful that, you know, how to not to lose them. And you have to have a good mass of cannon so you don't lose that. And at some point, yeah, it's, you do some more musks. You got the big button there. And then once you get enough people on, on the water, you can start transition more into wood. So then you can add some more musketeers and you just become onto a safe 
uh, amount of Aina that you you just can't lose in a fight anymore. That's how much they yeah, scale. Yeah. But, um, the thing is, uh, this matchup is a pretty aggressive one, and oh, this is good. Whoever Aina. has the more like Kenya wins, Ooh, I think. Like I think this matchup is pretty similar than the Russian mirror. Whoever has more Cossacks wins. I think it's it is a similar uh, like way to think on this match. Yeah, this is over. He lost all his views. Yeah, he has no no comeback. Like, ever since that fight, he the game was lost. Like he, what he could have that, done that, that here fight here, to, right? Go back? No, the fight on the on, the, on this on his DC, where the, where he, he was. Clean. Who's here? No, no, no. I I, I, I was oh, no, talking no. about the, the 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 huge fight. Yeah, this <laughs> fight. Yeah, the huge one on the stable. So I think the game was lost. Yeah, it was there. here, buddy. No, no. It was other than, the, 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 there was a fight yeah. before. And then, uh, yeah, the, the, the fight before, yeah. Because okay. if wow. you wanted to, to come back into the game, I think maybe... Like, uh, going even greedy on the water or something like that. I don't think raiding... Like, when you have fewer cavalry than your opponent, I don't think raiding is a, is a good option because you can simply catch... What, what, like, yeah, like the, just... Yeah, just catch everything and then you lose cavalry for free. Like, um, raiding... I think raiding is more of a, a, a winning condition, like co confirming wins, than actually coming back into the game. Like, I know that raiding can help you sometimes, but sometimes when your opponent has such a large cavalry mass, it is so easy to, to catch uh, units and then you're just leaving resources, uh, losing them. To your opponent. Yeah, but like I said, it just was, he just he doesn't know he lost it already. Like he just go for views and finish the game there, you know. Yeah, just go. <laughs> He's quite yeah, here. Like... Matoski <laughs> is going for no boats. Yeah, Matoski went for a high tempo build and, and it worked. Props to him. Yeah, I, I think Radovan should have taken the win here. Yeah, I, this was a throw, in my opinion. This was yeah. a throw. Oh, he, he, oh, he did I some small know. mistakes into his side. That for game three, we have um, Germany versus Russia. So this is the, the, the second blind peak of the series. Uh, so we had uh, uh, Nachowski playing Germany here on this side of the map. And we have the Russians by Radovan. By us, the dust. Um, so what do you think about this matchup? I think, you know, you can say that Germany is definitely, clearly the favorite here, but uh, especially in the... depends. But it's gonna depend on what, how these guys play out, right? Um, so here we have a semi-FF enjoyer, uh, exploiter here for Germany. Uh, big raid for Lionheart. Thanks, Radenhardt, for the raid, brother. We are on the last uh, match here of the series between Radovan and Nachowski. Um, so this is the best of three. So whoever wins this, advance to the next round. Uh, we have Russia going for 75 coin treasure. And Nick, what do you think about this matchup? Um, is is, is it that entirely favor for Germany, or do you think uh, Russian can put pressure and still suffocate uh, maybe Germany? Mm, I think this favors German Germany, but I think it's playable. I think it's playable. It isn't like uh, Ottomans. <laughs> when, when you're a Russian player and then you face Ottomans, you have to be creative. Like, play way better than the Ottoman player to win. But I think this is a... Um, you have to have Grenadiers in your deck. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen that work before, you so... To, you have to sweat to win a uh, Russia versus Ottoman matchup. But on this matchup, I think it favors Germany, but yeah, it, it is playable for, for Russia. Okay, so... But yeah, we see, we see some market of pretty standard stuff. Uh, contra Russia, so this means against Russia. And CH might be China. Yeah, contra Russia and China. So this back. is some heavy mercenary play for, for Nachowski, right? He might go for a H2 or three, hunt, uh, three villagers, settler wagons, and then um, silversmith, and then high on coin gathering. I think this is a decent map for this because it has gold mines on the, the two sides. Yeah, but let's see. 
70 wood there gathered by, by the Russians. And we have 100 food here for Germany. That's going to be really help his age up time. What a massive treasure to be taking. Yeah. I like Nachovsky's build. I think Russia um, does have a hard time against uh, mercenaries. So this is the this is a pretty standard Russia deck too. No spice trade. We can definitely see that. Which 700 is, uh, food instead. Yeah, it's very common to have a spice trade in your deck, even even though you're not always using. But just having it, it's very very good. Well, yeah, yeah, Russia is like, aging up um, with Quartermaster. Master. Yeah, that's pretty usual. Both of them. Uh, on the map, I think Both I will go it? for TP control uh, as Russia. Like, I think you should go for something like a semi FF. I, I don't think you you should stay on H2 against Germany because they, they can simply go to H3 and all, uh, oh, overwhelm all, your units. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like con taking control of the because this map has two two possible ways for the TPs to to spawn. They have they, they can go for an X, they the the, the TP spawn. Or they can go like this. So when they go like this, I think it's better to control them, to, to take stagecoach. And when they go for an X, maybe not. Oh, he, he wants two traps. Destroy and, and take for them. Um, Is this two traps so, that he's yeah. after? 125 yeah, wood, he, right? Yeah, you you want two traps, uh, Germany. No, it's good for how? Uh, we have to see what is the what is oh no, but it's okay. You you're going to gather the four four hundred wood. We have to see what is Natuski's opening going to be. Uh, probably Yulans, uh, stables. Yeah, we have. We see the blockhouse in the middle. I would place this blockhouse closer to a, a gold mine. I think it's better to protect resources with those. To secure, right? I guess. Yeah, but uh, this if you're you, if you have a mass that you can uh, control, then Germany cannot come here. Yeah, we have to see, we have to check build, Russia's build order. Uh, please show me, show me Radovan's view. Yeah, now the save stables up. And he sent five Cossack, Cossacks. Um, yeah, he, the, those Musketeers are pretty early. So he might not have the steel traps. Because I, I don't think you can, like, unless you get very lucky with treasures, you cannot go for both, uh, usually. So yeah, this is a a, a, a commitment from yeah eighty four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he has no upgrades at all on, on food. So, oh god. This <laughs> is cruel. Yeah, if you don't squeeze this, this game is is. I I won't. I don't. I don't want to say over, but looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem because you you can't pop three villages at a time that cost two hundred seventy without two traps, right? Yeah, you, you need steel traps as Russia. If you're rushing, like if you rush without it, you're pretty much all in. Now he has a market. We, we have to see Russia's game. Yeah. Okay, we are sending more Cossacks, so even more commitment. And we have 20 views. Um, no no uh, TP. Uh, as I say, I would like to control TP here as Russia. Like. Um, Maybe 700 wood and take the, the stagecoach would be a, a good way. Um, now he's diving in with some Cossacks. Now that the, the Yulans are raiding on the other side of the map, uh, this could be good for Russia. No, 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 just just attack. Oh, oh, Garminet uh, Man. <laughs> it was a good living because he got Minute Man. Yeah, was... it was the opportunity to maybe... Uh, now don't, don't, yeah, don't come in because he got Minute Man. Oh, bad timing. Yeah. Oh, I think it's you it still might be okay though. Yeah, because the Cossacks are pretty tanky for the for their cost. Yeah, now he cleans this up. Yeah, now Natuska is going back. He he, he got uh, a little bit of a panic here. This doesn't kill Natuska. This push. I mean, you can simply defend this. He could uh, be raiding on on the other side of the map. But now he sends units, so it's kind of in a pickle. Um, 
yeah like the more russia uh delays the h3 timing for germany the better i think but russia has to to have the their their own like long-term game themselves right so there yeah now perhaps in 700 would yeah now we are thinking more long term we stop the rushing like just go for a second block house here and upgrade your market and play the, the mid to long term game look at they going defensive instance together as a group yeah you can you can surround a villager like this right <laughs> yeah 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 but this is the perfect villager surround uh, uh stance <laughs> Yeah, yeah the... but, uh, we, I think we are, he did we are. Okay, he's going for a stable. Yeah. Gato. So yeah, I like this for right? good mass. A good mass of must. Good mass of must. He slowed down. He slowed and down he still the, has a 13, uh, 13 units to be sent yet for the strats. It's really yeah, gonna I help. I will go for I will go for six hundred, uh, seven hundred coin now. To make more cossacks. Yeah, seven hundred coin is usually the start producing cossacks card for for Russia. <laughs> Take the village on the process. You know what it means. Oh, this is a huge raid. Let us see what. Mm. Oh, this this went way better for than expected, right? <laughs> From yeah. the other one. And yeah, now he's chasing down some some Newlands, which is good. No micro on the crossbowman. We have to. Oh, just focus down the the crossbowman. They're going for seven hundred coin now. Yeah. Yeah, now we, we stop producing Cossacks, but there are a lot of villagers on the right side of the base. But I think Germany I has accomplished the, it, its task of keeping Nachoski in H2. I don't know. I don't know about that because right, Germany has no economy. He's, he's, he isn't even producing villagers. Uh, watch the that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He's managed to accomplish the task of keeping Germany in H2. So I think oh, yeah, this no, is no, this no, is rather no, no, game no, to take. I, 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 I took it the other way around. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. This is this is Germany games to take here. Uh, sorry, uh, Russia's game here. This is easy Russia win. Even though he's gonna lose this mess here. Do you think that? Oh, way? Well, not anymore. After he lost like a big mess of musks here. Me Honestly, using the like, the, the settle wagons to the maximum potential with the with the oh with the double soldiers on top of that was good pop as yeah, well yeah, yeah. of you lands. Suddenly yeah, Germany is back. Russia has a good economy. I I expect them to have like watch uh, twenty six villagers. Guess twenty. So they both the same villager count. I think they're both the same eco at this point. Yeah, uh, Russia should stop sending units across the map. Yeah, just like Russia is pretty much like China. You you have to have a solid mass in order to attack. You cannot go for like uh, five musks, keep sending into the opponent's base. Yeah, we have to. Russia has to, to to remain on the game a little bit longer to start to scale better. Yeah, just be careful with the rage. Good to lose a field? No. Now he will. Maybe. Not anymore. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> nobody can like kill villagers. Yeah, well. no, nobody can kill villagers very well. Yeah, now this is this is starting to get me worried for Germany because once Russia gets a solid Cossack mass, he's going to be able to deal with those raids. And yeah, yeah, I don't know what to think about. Uh, going for seven hundred coin now because he, I think he's got stuck in his base a little should be long too long. I mean, haven't finished that oh, house. There's a raid. So. There's a raid in the middle of the map. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna okay, get one. He's going for two heals. But this guy's gonna get on melee. He's gonna start snaring this. Um, they managed to get away. Yeah, we have to see. We have to check uh, Germany's economy. Now, from now on, I, I, I basically know what Russia's going to do. We have to see Germany's game. Is he going to H3 or is he massing units? I think he's stuck. Yeah, he's no, he's stuck, H2. H2. he's stuck in H2. He's stuck in H2. Yeah, he's he stuck. Can't yeah, he cannot. He cannot. Like, he's not producing that many villagers. He's focusing, focusing down more. Yeah, you're gonna put a house, you're gonna lose here. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, this is a this is a, a map that resources run out pretty quickly. Oh yeah, yeah, the the, the... the base. So mm -hmm. you're pretty much forced to go into the middle and or to the sides pretty soon. That's why I like so, to yeah, go an FF against uh, against Russia here. An FF would be better just cuz you you get better units. And then you get more tempo, you know, you get so so, so much good units. You got the, your skirm and you got the nine new lands. 
I don't I don't know yeah. about the mercenaries though. It's just like a bit too much of mercenaries against this matchup. Against Russia mercenary build with this map. Yeah. I'm not, not the biggest fan of the, the, the deck myself. The two cards. Yeah, now Russia is yeah, like but, if uh, Russia gets a solid mass, this game is over. Because Germany is pretty much forced. Like this is the best scenario for Russia. You want like if you go aggressively, you want to force your opponent into a H2 play. So you prevail on that because this is the, the strength of Russia, right? But yeah, we have to see. Watch the dops. Top, 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 top. Strelots now to the rescue. He's gonna have another Strelots come back up coming in. That's gonna be able to deal with all oh, this car. Uh, this is... this. Oh yeah, no doubt. He's gonna also gonna have more villagers in the mix just to annoy, and more Strelots yeah, coming in. All the units are done already, and he's more units, more Strelots coming in. He has a lot of a big mass of recruits still to defend everything plus the all all the Cossacks mass. It just it's just Oh god, Radovan is going to eliminate Nachoski. Like this yeah, is some solid uh, uh, Russia. Yeah, that that villager pop was the, the flex spot. Like go back to work in the middle of the fight, you, we already won this. Oh that was on the house, that was an outpost. But that's gonna be taken very, very quickly here by the 18 recruits. They're trying to sneak in a settler wagon though. So maybe yeah, he's, he's leave another day. Politics. He's 24 chicks. He, he's flexing. Russia's flexing from this point. I think I think he's really, really in a good place now. Um, I think Germany lost the window to a job and he's stuck in H2. And 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 that's that's where Germany thrives. Because um, then you're gonna be able to remass quicker than you. And you, yeah. and you, every fight you lose, if you, if you Germany lose, if you, if you Russia loses a fight, they can remass. And if you lose a fight, they win the game. So yeah. that's, that's pretty much why I don't like to stay much in the, <laughs> what the, oh, photo chicken. What is that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Photo chicken, I don't even know what that is. No, this is. This is not an easy matchup to play. You have, you have to actually know what to do, like as both saves on this scenario. I mean, the doppels are doing great work. I, I just think that Russia's uh, route here is easier to figure out than uh, Germany. Because if the Russian players uh, uh, pressure you, you have to edge up somehow. Uh, very dangerous to, to keep on edge through against Russia. So I think that the, the problem for Nachowski is that he missed the window to, to edge up that, just as Kavrana said. And when you stay on edge 2 for too long against Russia, like Russia basically wins. Against like 90% of the city. Getting that game. coin in front of the Strelitz. No respect. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Germany H2. It is a good H2, but it, it is Russia on the other on, on the other side, right? It's, it's backing out. Okay, I'm gonna finish the house at least. Yeah, let's see Russia's uh, game. Please. Okay, 36 minutes is like double, like. Double musketeer production and Cossacks, we are like... So they have all this coin here on your base, so... Uh, Russia can do whatever they want at this point. Got a map He's control. Right next to the opponent's town center. The disrespect gathering. He got twice as many villagers now, so it's gonna be really hard for... For Radovan to what, lose this game. This? He's, he's pulling the, the, the hunts. Trying to pull the hunts from the... From, from Nachowski. <laughs> Okay, I, I think the, the town center, like the full town center, kills a villain in a single shot. Right. It's not worth to so send them to. Them. Yeah, they, they can't yeah. see the. He didn't scout here, so doesn't know the hunts are being gathered here by Germany. Always yeah. scout the whole map, especially on your side. You know, you know, I like to scout on my side first, and then I will always go into the other side, and make sure I got everything. Because if he yeah, know that, he would have seen this this going down. Yeah. The, when you you. Then it'd be over. That has one single explorer like uh, Brits or Russian Ottomans. It, it is normal to like not scout some part of the parts of the map. Oops. Like especially Ottomans because you have to build in peace and stuff. But yeah, Germany is, is getting is some over. marathon thuggy. Hmm. I, I think Go. this is a, a musketeer. I mean, Germany is buying as much time as he can. Um, He's making this musketeers move around. I fed him against Russia. I don't know about that. Russia can. This is a tricky matchup. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the oh, thing about Russia, play, right? Russia, they say, yeah, is really bad, yeah. but at the same time, it's so tricky to play against Russia. On one mistake, and yeah. then that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about Russia. People love to call them the worst team in the game, but it is not easy to, to, to win against a good Russian player. Like, if they manage to... to, to, to to keep you on H2, it is basically their game, just as you are watching here. And when Russia normally has the same score, which means they are probably already winning the game. So, as yeah. Russia is like way above score-wise, you can definitely say that this is probably over. Yeah. Just put this on melee now and fight this. There's no point running away. Yeah, uh, what so is this, guys? Mm, this thugs. They're like this infantry. Is yeah. This is a skirmish some sort of outlaw. Strong storm. But 110 really HP, 45 damage. damage. But there are too many Cossacks on the mix. He's yes. gonna be able to take all the EU lands. And he also has this, uh, th is it the Pikes, right? Um, yeah, the Poto Chicks. Yeah, GG!